I am the master. That's what Jonathan, my three-year-old son, used to say whenever he climbed up a rock. He was invincible. He could do anything. Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters and welcome guests. Toddlers don't need lessons in enthusiasm or imagination. Have you ever seen a motivational seminar for three-year-olds? Of course not. It just isn't the consumer demand in these tough economic times. But what happens to us as we grow up? We conform, we obey, we fit in. Until one day, that world-conquering hero sits in a grey cubicle using none. rediscover our unique talents. We have to be more childish, because all children know that anything is possible if you use your imagination more. Education experts, Ken Robinson, who was talking about the pressures that we put on young children, noted that a three-year-old is not half a six-year-old. But sadly, when it comes to imagination and creativity, I would argue that an adult is not even half a three-year-old. I mean, how many of you defeated a deadly dinosaur on the way here tonight? <laughs> As a parent of young kids, you have to be prepared for anything. Yet still, I wasn't ready. Today, Jonathan said to me, Daddy? Adults don't have ideas. Only children have ideas. Wow! How can a toddler have dismissed the imagination of every adult in the whole world? Is it because when he has show and tell at school, I'm embarrassed to have all his toys he wants to take in, snaky, the screwed up old shop. I once told his teacher we didn't have real toys at home. I feared her judgment more than I valued my son's creativity. Have you ever stopped yourself from putting forward an idea because you feared being judged by others? Anyway, this is just a cheap replica. <laughs> they don't make them like they used to. <laughs> <laughs> but speaking of trash, you, you've probably all seen the kids first the cardboard box to the expensive toy that comes inside. And it's obvious why. The expensive toy has one function. But the cardboard box <laughs> is an endless world of imagination and adventure. Adults, we're always told to think outside the box. But children do their thinking <laughs> inside the box. So what's your inspiration? What's your cardboard box? Could it be at work? Have you pimped your cubicle or given it a feng shui makeover? <laughs> After all, if anything's possible, what would a childish workplace look like? Imagine if you could actually do what you want to do at work. Google created 20% time. For one day a week, its employees could pursue their own projects. And surely, surely, a childish workplace would have no dress code. Consider this noose around our necks. The tie was invented at the same time that the pilgrims came to America to improve their public speaking through Toastmasters. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we still wearing it? Even the suit. It's 200 years old. Isn't it time to get rid of this straitjacket? <laughs> Fellow Toastmasters, I could go on. <laughs> but I think you get my point. <laughs> but I know what you're all thinking. Nice ideas, but you can't change the system. Whenever I say no to Jasmine, my two-year-old daughter, she always says, but, but, Daddy... You're breaking my idea! I love the imagery of that phrase, and she's right. 
Because saying no, having doubts is crushing creativity. But unlike us, children know better. They persist with their independent ideas. Like the time Jonathan came to me with a very urgent question. Daddy, does Batman like treasure? Hmm, I think so, I said. But I saw the chance to change his mind with a teachable moment. Do you know what he likes even more than treasure? <gasps> no! <laughs> Justice! But, Daddy, justice isn't as sparkly as treasure. <laughs> Aren't you in awe of the kid's independent minds? Picasso was. He said it took him four years to learn to paint like Raphael, but a lifetime to paint like a child, by which he meant painting without being judged or constrained by adult values. Have you ever found that you don't have the time to listen to a little kid who comes running up to you all excited with something really important to say? Because if you've brushed them off, you may have missed the most important lesson that we can learn from children. And that's that imagination can conquer anything. Recently, Jonathan started being afraid of death. And then one morning he came to me and he said, don't worry, when you die, you go to Jupiter, where there's all the chocolate you can eat. <laughs> <laughs> so be childish, have fun, and get inside your cardboard box. It's the Toastmaster. <laughs>